In Liebe sind wir zu Hause. Und deshalb bedarf es auch gar nicht so viele Wörter. Love is like our true home. Liebe haben wir Love is interconnected to two human basic needs, which in itself emphasizes its importance. The two basic needs are relationships and spirit and spirituality. Spirit and spirituality in the sense of a loving bond with God to all of his creation, all sisters and brothers, and to the meaning of life. The ultimate meaning of life is to live and enjoy universal love. In our physical world, however, wanting to achieve universal love leads us directly to different forms of love. Our best guidance here is self-love. In the absence of self-love, we will, without a doubt, encounter our intrinsic limitations in the mirror of another person, a person with whom we resonate. Achieving universal love is only possible with self-love and along with grace of charity. That means that love cannot be cut into small slices, such as, I love my children, however, not myself. This behavior could lead to a situation where your children subconsciously carry some burden which compensates for certain needs that their parents have. Meaning that you may never really allow your children to live their own lives. Instead, your behavior may induce some form of addiction, or even worse, enable your children to develop a feeling of indebtedness. You are obligated to behave according to my needs because we brought you into this world. But that is simply wrong. Nobody should carry such a burden, because real love frees you from any burdens or restrictions. You can then easily enjoy attributes in your relationship, such as compassion, mutual understanding and trust. They contribute to the solid foundation of any loving relationship including those to yourself, your children, partner, parents, friends, anyone, everyone, and the whole world. As love seems to be so fundamental to us, we celebrate Valentine's Day. Interestingly enough, this day can be very depressing for many, like, oh my God, I didn't get any flowers, or no one calls me. And hopefully I have a partner by then. Without a partner, it feels like half of a whole. What is that? That is not a true definition of love. Love is all about relatedness rather than loneliness. This misconception is rooted deeply in our social concepts about partnership. We are taught that love is connected to romantic surroundings, falling in love, etc., and we tend to confuse that with real love. In ancient fairy tales, the princess waits for her prince in shining bright armor. Alas, this is only fantasy. And no man is born to fulfill these fantasies. Women, on the other hand, carry a great burden for trying to conform with role models of the ideal woman, as seen in Hollywood movies. It's time to understand that no one is born to conform to fantasy pictures. They are just that. Fantasy. Reality is more about being connected, tenderness, honesty, 
individual personality, individual beauty. Please understand that beauty is always in the eye of the beholder. Strangely enough, education in the middle of the 21st century still presents ideals from fairy tales, normally ending like, and they lived happily ever after. At the same time, phrases like my present partner are very common now, while we long more and more for real perfection in a partnership. That is not to be confused with needing a partner. Remember, needing someone means consuming someone. Experiencing true love Appreciation and perfection is more fruitful in the light of godly connectedness and from within individual power as a movement of the soul. There you are well prepared for any partnership because the partner is no longer a fantasy figure, a compensation for father or mother, but much more an individual that contributes from his heart and from his own free will. Only then can we enjoy the presence of our partner. Therefore, true love is based more on a true heart and compassion and not so much on romantics. That way we can love our partners for their qualities and can truly expect to be loved for the person we are, which is a true desire of all human beings. On the way to compassion, we need to learn to love ourselves as we are. As a result, we radiate easiness and joy and can also accept the love our partner has to give. However, in order to achieve this, we must learn to accept our self-love thus becoming immune to self-sabotage. Relevant steps to take are recognition, understanding, and forgiving. Confidence helps in transformation as we grow in strength to fully commit ourselves to relationships. The next step is letting go of all disbelief and furthermore, to be able to grow in one's love more deeply. Therefore, we should begin every morning with the words, I love myself. I love you is a gesture. It is a gesture of humbleness. Falling in love with oneself is this gesture. That is quite different. If you love yourself, you never take from anyone else. You are strong and thus able to give. Egotistical love motivates a sense of predominance as one is captured in some judgment coming from your neediness. That's the wrong ego. The other stance evolves from a healthy ego. For that reason, Valentine's Day is all about true values, as I see it. You can give yourself a gift, such as a beautiful flower, you can give yourself love and appreciation. You can smile and tell your loved ones how good that you are here. Your presence is a gift. When you feel good, I too feel good. You'll be astonished. This attitude opens new ways for relationships. 
allowing everything to evolve for everyone in a sensible and enlightened way. That is the exact reason why it's time to celebrate love. Let us observe love from a spiritual perspective of transcendental universal love. Love provides the most effective protection due to true and pure resonance, which enables letting go of all destructive emotions. And we should never take people for granted, neither children, parents, partners, nor friends. We should be thankful for them and always remember that we are not the easiest partners on earth either. Most important, the more we open our hearts towards ourselves, thus in compassion and charity, the more we experience heavenly peace. More and more, we can also come to know godly experiences and encounters with angels. Remember, all paths to love are through our inner self. That is the deeper reason for the wise saying, with love, everything is possible. We should never assume that things should go the way we want them to. Most of the time, we don't even know what is really good for ourselves and all others involved, because we cannot foresee the future. When we live true love, we have the most pure intentions because we can bless our fellow human beings and projects with the credo, with love, everything is possible. Healing, guidance, and settlement transpire with the help of God and His angels and my love so that it is meaningful and enlightening for everyone involved. The more we make peace with ourselves, the more our relationships grow peacefully and harmoniously. We resonate with peaceful people anyway, and in turn, we will welcome better relationships accordingly. Come, join us. Love has nothing to do with being naive. It is the ultimate yes to life itself, to our life experiences and capabilities of living a full life. So, <laughs> 